Well, I'm following the political career of a person who uses the acronym AOC, and I'm not going to obliterate her name by mispronouncing a Latino or Puerto Rican name. But what I am going to say is I believe that this current situation that she is talking about at the present moment, based on what I'm seeing in a Twitter feed and how people are responding to it, is somewhat naive. The naivety is thinking that people are not still holding on to the factual aspect of propriety. It is truthful. If you are a person who comes from poverty, you do not know the appropriate social etiquette of success. I experience that on a daily basis, that people from poverty rarely know how to be appropriate in their casual social conversations. I literally was just practically interrogated by a total stranger who wanted to walk up and just say hello and play a game with me to get information that she wanted to know was not her lawful right at all. But what I also know is that there are people who do not wish to profess their sexuality publicly. I also know that many people feel that intimacy is a private matter. And while they might have a wife or a husband or a spouse or significant other or a longtime player in their life, they are not going to stand there in the public and put them out there. There's a lot of reasons for that. First of all, it might put the person in their life in a position that they don't want to be in. It might give them a public life that they don't desire because they have a private life. It also might put people who you're talking about with regard to sexual orientation or gender identity in a real problem. When I talk about this, I'm talking about it from a reporter's spectrum, a reporter's perspective, that what I have observed is that those who live out loud and proud rarely become successes unless they're working for Disney or some huge conglomerate that can devour the hardness of the world. And they typically, these people, have security guards that walk them at least somewhat close to their cars. And then they go home to their mansions, they go home to their posh hotels where they live, they go home and there's more security that looks out for them. It's what they're paid to do to help them live and help them give to a larger public community. But for most people who live in the regular world, there is no safety once someone takes their private information and decides to break medical rights and privacy rights and publicly talk about them in a way that is incredibly improper, totally lacks propriety, and within our society is nobody's business.